Mezco, what is wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Jeez, just, just shut up and take my money right now. Take all of it, take all of my money. Look, I'll even open up my wallet and... Okay, well, there's nothing in there, but that's only because people don't pay for things with paper money anymore. We use debit and Interact and PayPal. The point here is you can't take my money fast enough. For those of you who don't know, and I'm sure you probably do because you read the title, you saw the thumbnail, Mezco 112th Collective at their Mezco Toys Fair 2021 revealed a second attempt, another go around, if you will, at Superman. Now, a lot of us who bought the original release of Superman were like, it's good, it's good, but it could be better. And we tried to, we tried to indeed make it better. Here is my custom Mezco 112th Collective Tony May suit, Superman. Because a lot of us wanted a comic accurate suit. And you can look at the, the original Mezco 112th Collective and go, you know, that's not comic accurate. I'm not sure if you know what Superman actually is supposed to look like, but that ain't it. I mean, yeah, you got the basic colors right. The blue's a bit off. Uh, you got the spit curl, got red boots, but you gussied them up and made them, you know, a little bit non-comic accurate. And where are the belt loops and the trunk? The figure itself looked good, but it could have been better. And so the fact that Mezco 112th Collective has revealed this fantastic, I mean, and just look at it, this fantastic second attempt at the Big Blue Boy Scout. I mean, that, that, that almost brings an action figure collecting grown up to tears. Let's have a closer look at it together, shall we? So look at this. The first image that we see is Superman flying. So clearly he's gonna come with a more stern face, but this stern angry face actually looks good. Usually I'm not that pleased with angry stern faces. I don't like pissy soups, fired up soups, sure. This one looks pretty good. I think that I will actually really enjoy this head sculpt. Now. The suit is a is the perfect blue. Clearly it's got a wired cape. Look at that belt. That is the belt that I think a lot of us were waiting for. We were hoping the previous one had. Now take note in this picture of the S on the chest there. That is the geometrically perfect, I like to think of S. Everything is geometrically measured, or I think of it more as something like you would have found on the Superpowers Collection Superman. Not quite, but it's it's the basic generic geometrically perfect decimal. When you flip over to the next picture, clearly this is some kind of a mock-up because that suit, at least the body suit, is the Reeve Superman suit. Or at the very least, the S is the Reeve Superman S, because you can tell by the shape. That's the Christopher Reeve S. But look at the look at it, just look at it. The boots are entirely comic accurate. You got just the red boots with the double V line that goes all the way around them. You got the trunks that look so much better than the original. And then you got that belt again, that is that is a comic accurate belt. You got the, the two red loops on either side of the, the oval belt buckle. You get the cape, which is wired tucked into the collar. And look at that, look at that head sculpt. Look at it, it's smiling. That is a very pleased looking very positive looking Superman. And how often do we get that? How often have we said, I just want a Superman figure that's smiling? Because we always get stern face, we get pissy face, fired up face, and heat vision eyes. Those are the different ranges that we get, but nothing on the other end of stern. But yet those of us who love Superman, no one loves Superman, know that that's a big part of the character, his positivity his hope, his goodness, and a smiling soups is definitely not something that you would think of as out of the ordinary. I've been a big fan, a big proponent of including a smirking or a smiling Superman head sculpt. So at this point, although we don't know when the pre-order date will be for this figure, believe me, if I, if I knew if it was ready right now at the time of making this video, I would have pre-ordered it by now. And there likely will be a second video just about this figure because there's only two images. So we know we're going to get the full gauntlet of imagery. And by then we will likely know when the pre-order date is. And when I know, you'll know. Because I know that there's a lot of you out there just as excited as I am. But with this figure, could this be, could this Superman figure signal a change at Mezco 112th Collective? Could it? Now, this is what I mean. Fans demanded 
kept asking for another attempt at Superman. And look at what we now have in front of us. Well, let's look at Batman. Ascending, Sovereign, and Supreme Knight Batman figures. Fantastic Batman figures in their own right. Absolutely. And they've all got that Mezco 112th collective signature gussying up of the detail. And they all look good for what they are. However... Clearly, just like with Superman, fans have wanted that classic either black or blue and gray bat on the chest, pouch belt look. That classic, iconic look. And Mezco has so far, as of yet, failed to deliver that. They've delivered their own version, their own take on Batman. However, could the existence of a comic-accurate Superman that we know is in the works, pending licensee approval, which, you know, I'm not too worried about, I think it'll come out, could that mean that the Batman will be next? I sure hope so. I'm keeping both my fingers crossed. Anyway, let me know what you think. Do you think this is a herald of a change behind the scenes at Mezco 112th Collective? Do you think they're going to start having more of an emphasis on comic book accuracy for their soft goods Mezco 112th Collective action figures? And furthermore, does this figure excite you? Or are you happy with the original? Can you look at this Second go around to Superman and go that. Now that, that makes me excited. That is one that I could sink my collector teeth into. Or do you just look at it and go, eh, whatever. I mean, take it or leave it. Who am I kidding? We're all just as excited about this one. Anyway, I gotta go. Take care of yourself and each other. Have yourself a super fantastic DC day and I'll see you with the next one. Bye for now. I'm just gonna drool over this picture a little bit more.